everybody, this is Ashley Tamron with Practical Pearls, and I am super excited today because we have our new equipment. Thank you to your feedback. We got some new lighting, so you can see my face, and we have some new sound, so I don't sound like I'm in a bathtub telling you Practical Pearls. So I'm really excited. We'd love to hear your feedback on if you liked it, if you don't like it, what you think. That really encouraged us and helped us the first time, so keep it coming. I want to talk to you about a subject that's a little bit different than I usually do. I want to talk to you about something spiritual, specifically in the Bible in Matthew chapter 6, 25. He is talking, Jesus is talking, and he says, one cannot serve both God and mammon. And the first question is, what is mammon? Mammon is money, wealth, income, anything like that. And I think a lot of us usually equate that to like, you know, someone that's money hungry or obsessed or just like wringing their hands, counting their dollars like, (laughs) but I don't necessarily think that's what he's talking about. He says in that paragraph, you can't have two masters. And so a lot of us are like, well, I don't have two. I'm not like obsessed with money. What are you even talking about? But just after that, there's a paragraph break and it's because there's a subject change, but it's still him talking about the exact same thing. So I don't know about you, but if you're ever reading the Bible and there's a paragraph change, you're like, okay, I'm not going to pay attention to anything that I just read. It's basically something new, but it's not. They're tied in together. It's one message coming across. And he says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body or what you put on it. So he's saying that right after he says, you can't have two masters. You can't serve God and mammon. So what do those two have to do with each other? And to me, he's not necessarily talking about the person that is obsessed with like their amazing high turbo boat, you know, or about getting the new BMW. I'm not saying that can't apply, but I think he's talking to all of us regular folks that are worried when you don't have what you need. When you don't have the money you need or, you know, your kid's tuition is due or they need shoes or you need food on the table or you just lost your job. Serious stuff. It seems like in those times, at least throughout my life, at different times, college, after college, marriage, at times when things got tight, it consumes your mind. You're like, what are we going to do? And where is God? And I think that's what he's talking about. You, You can't serve God and believe in God and trust in God fully and be serving or obsessing about wealth. I don't think it's bad to have nice things. I want to make that clear. Having nice things and living a good life, nothing wrong with that. There's some people that believe differently. I don't. I believe that it's great to have nice things. But there is a difference between having nice things and like obsessing over having them or the lack thereof. And so I want to tell you that God is going to show up for you in your situation. When you are struggling and when you're constantly thinking about it, that's when it's so important to capture those thoughts. Remind yourself that he is faithful. He has always shown up for you. You have not gone down the tubes. He's not an early God. He's not going to be like, hey, just have this here for you just in case before you freak out or before you need any faith at all. Here's everything you need. Like, no, that's, that's not the type of God he is. He is going to wait for you to activate your faith and go, okay, I don't see this, but I'm going to trust and believe and have faith in my God that he understands my situation. I've prayed for it. I'm doing everything I can, walking in the right direction. You're not excusing yourself from working hard, being diligent, pushing forward, but you're also believing that God is going to come through for you, and he will. He has never let me down. He has never let you down, and he won't forsake you. So I just want to encourage you with that. I want to give you something different, a new word. So please watch it. I want to know your opinion. If you have a different opinion, that does not offend me or scare me. I want to hear what your opinion is on this issue. And I'd love to hear your feedback about anything else you have to say. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That really helps us out. We would love for you to do that. And then also check out practicalpearls.com. Thanks. Bye.